on this episode of Beyond the Pot, we will be making Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Air Fryer ribs. So I think those wings in the Instant Pot were a hit. So I decided to try something new. I'm gonna put this slab of spare ribs into the Instant Pot and see how it goes. So first we are going to clean them up. I clean them, I wash them off, rinse them off um, with some cold water, pat, patted them dry. And now I am going to take the membrane off the back of these ribs. And I'm just gonna take a piece of paper towels let me see if I can get this all in one swipe. It's really tricky. So there's like this piece on the back of ribs right here. And I'm gonna pull it off. You just pull it off with a paper towel. Ah, I got it, look at that. It's coming off. Sometimes you gotta go back and do it again. See, it didn't come off all in one swipe. So I'm gonna put that piece to the side. And I'm gonna go back in and do it again. See if I can get all that membrane off. And I'm using a paper towel because you can get a better grip on it. Because it's sticky, so you can get a better grip. Look, see all that? Pull it all off, pull it all off. As I drop something. I'm gonna put this to the side, and there's one little more piece. Try to get off. And there it goes. Ah. I'm gonna wash my hands and come right back. So I just finished washing my hands, getting all that nasty stuff off of there. And so now I'm going to put some honey on my ribs so I can season them. So let me give you a disclosure. You can also use mustard. A lot of people use mustard, but I have a kid in my house that does not like mustard, like despises mustard. And so I'm going to use some honey as my sticking agent to have my rub stick on my ribs. And for my rub, I use some brown sugar, some paprika, some cumin, chili powder, what else? Some cayenne, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and I think that was it. So I made just a little quick rub, and you can use any rub you want to put on your ribs. It's your decision. So I'm gonna put some honey on. If you don't use it all, it's okay. You don't use all your rub, it's all good. Spread it on there. And once you do the top, you do the back also. Well, these are the back, so you flip it over and do the other side. So I season both sides of my ribs. And just so you know, you can let these rest for about 30 minutes to an hour before you put them in your Instant Pot to let those seasonings penetrate through your meat. So, but I'm just gonna put them in. So I've seasoned it all, and we are going to plug up our air fryer. Plug her up. And this little handy dandy rack that came with it, we're gonna put this inside, upside down. Not like this, upside down. Because we want our ribs to go around it. And so, I'm gonna put, this is a half a cup of apple cider vinegar and a half a cup of water. So you can put a whole cup of apple juice, you can put half and half of apple juice and water, so whatever liquid you wanna use, you can. So I'm just gonna pour that right into the bottom. And our ribs are gonna go in the pressure cooker. Ooh, look at that, it looks so good. right around that rack. Ooh, get in there. Ooh, yeah. Look, I want all this yummy goodness on there. I'm gonna throw all this yummy goodness in there. Onto that meat. It's the honey and the seasonings and all of that. Just rub it all on that meat. Just rub it all in there.
All of it. All the seasonings are good. All of it. Okay. So that's in there. I'm going to leave this hand free and I am going to put my lid on. Okay. We are going to go on pressure cook for high, on high, for 25 minutes. Uh, how about you lock it, Krista? 25 minutes and start. And there we go. We're gonna let that go and then we'll come back and check. So my ribs just went off and I'm going to check them. I'm gonna push cancel on here if I can see. I love that sound. I'm gonna back up because it's hot. Ooh, y'all. Y'all, y'all. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm scared to pick them up because I think they're gonna fall apart. They look so good. So good. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Oop, the ring stuck to it. There we go. That's hot. I'm going to throw that on my counter, okay? Ooh, look at them ribs that and that season is stuck. I didn't think it was going to stick. But this looks really, really good. Look, I'm losing bones already. That's how tender they are. So now we're going to do our air fry portion. We're going to soak it in some of this um, peach bourbon barbecue sauce. We went to this place called Ridge Island Groves down here um, in, I think it's Haines City, Florida and they have like a orange grove and they have all kinds of fruits and veggies and jellies and sauces and they have blueberry peach ice cream to die for and so i got this peach bourbon barbecue sauce that i'm gonna put on these ribs and i also they have local honey too so I'm, i use this to slather my seasonings on and so i'm gonna put some of this barbecue on there peach bourbon y'all Peach bourbon barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. And we got air fry these up. Put them in there. Slather it on, okay? And do both sides. After you finish slathering whatever barbecue sauce you want on your ribs, if you want barbecue sauce, it's up to you. You don't have to. You can crisp them without any sauce on them. I put in my air fryer insert and I'm gonna spray this with some cooking spray because last time I made the wings they stuck a little bit so I'm gonna spray this with some cooking spray so they won't stick that much that's getting in my throat so I'm gonna take my ribs my slab of ribs and I'm going to put them in here on the side like I did last time all that sauce put on those bones you can suck those bones okay we're going to put our air fryer lid on is that air fryer lid oh I just learned something new it's touching the top so I have to change it I may have to cut them let's cut them Look at that. We'll cut them in sections and it can get in the pot easier. That just cut right through. Okay. Let's do this. This might be better. And it's okay if they lay on top of each other. It's okay. Now we go with our air fryer lid. There we go. Still learning this little tricky contraption. We are gonna go on air fry for about 10 minutes on 400 and we'll check them after that. If we need about five or seven more minutes, we'll add that to it. But I think 10 minutes will do it to crisp them up. We'll be back. It just beeped and now hopefully 
they're ready. I did put another five minutes on the timer after the 10 minutes went off because um, the two slabs pieces that were at the bottom didn't get crisp, the pieces at the top did. So I just flipped them around. So here we go, oh my. Take that off of there. Look at these ribs. Ooh, look at those, y'all. They look so good. Oh my goodness. Those are heavenly. If you want, you can put a little bit more barbecue on there. Look at those. Those look so tender. I'm gonna try and cut them up. Watch this. Who knew you could slice the ribs that easy? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Well, these are lovely. I'm going to try one. I got in trouble with a friend. They was like, Chris, you don't dry your food. So I'm gonna try it. Tell you what it tastes like. And I'm gonna have these tomorrow with some mac and cheese and some Brussels sprouts and some cornbread. It's gonna be real good. So I'm gonna taste a little piece. Oh. Josh and the kids gonna like this. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit more barbecue sauce and that's gonna be dinner. So, Y'all, it's so good. Like, it's juicy, it's tasty. I taste the seasoning. I even taste a hint of the barbecue sauce. I'm gonna put some more, but it's really, really good. So what I need y'all to do is try this recipe and tell me if you like it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And the recipe will be down below in the description. I'll catch y'all next time on Beyond the Pot. Later.